Steve Bridgman, I'm the Chief Merchandising Officer at QVC in the UK. I tried in the presentation to really give people a view on what multimedia can look like and what different channels are like and how we can uh, leverage them and work with them. My traditional channel is TV and these new channels are coming along. And I really wanted to use those channels and show people how to connect social media to the traditional, how to loop it back round. But mostly I want people to listen to what the customer's saying because they now have a voice and you have an opportunity to hear what they want and respond to it. Ask the customer, which print do you like? We're going to put it on a storage bag. Doesn't stop it being a storage bag, but which print would you like? Here's the question. You give us feedback. We told you on TV to go online and click and select. And uh, you do this with your market research maybe when you're trying to pick something. Well, we did it in the real time. Then we produced the product. It was actually the, the spotty one where the, the green box is. The most clicks. We brought it on air. It sold out 100% of the inventory that we had. We actually sold 20% uh, more, which we had to fly in and fulfill the customer. They're telling us what they want. We, if we listen, that'll really guide us. And, and we, they tell us in the moment on TV, and they tell us in the long term. So uh, you have to ask, you have to listen, and then you have to act and do something different. We, we started years ago with just a few customers where we'd invite them to come on the show, talk on the telephone, ask a question, make a comment, because it's very much a, a connection between two customers. They want to know what somebody else thought of a product. Not necessarily what I thought of a product as the, the brand owner or the presenter. And then those tools expanded and people could SMS in, send us a text message and we'll ask that question on air. Then Facebook and Twitter started making that real time and two way. Uh, and one customer can make a comment and another customer can comment on the comment and respond. And, and, and so it started to become really interactive. People, it's interesting, people listen to people and they want to talk to them. They help them make the decisions. You ask your friends and family what you should purchase. Nowadays, you ask and listen and respond to a person you've never met, never will meet, and live in a country, and you listen to them more about the decision you're going to make on a digital camera from somebody called Cat Weasel, okay, uh, than you do a retailer or someone in a store. That social engagement is so important for the the shopping experience. I think Omnichannel is really important because it's no longer about the channels I have to present you. It's as a consumer, you have these channels you want to use and how do I appear in those channels when you want it, where you want it and how you want it and how do they feel connected. The Omnichannel is uh, the customer's perspective of your brand or your store, not your perspective of what you want them to be. Right? And you, you've got to have everybody focused on the same creative, the same goals, same synergy. If I'm in a distribution center, how the product's presented in the box with the label being straight is an important experience when they receive the product. As important as when they see it on TV and they choose it and decide. And those two have to match and fit together. Whether it's a, a leaflet, a magazine, the video footage that we utilize, the live performance, or uh, an e-commerce website. Admittedly, having one central location where everyone is instead of 400 stores makes it a lot easier to get everyone behind the same flag and move forward. In my view, it's a, a merchant and a marketeer's dream. Right? If you uh, ever get the chance to visit a QVC, you might get to see this up behind the scenes. Every three seconds, it updates with how many telephone calls are coming through and what the sales are. So when I demonstrate something, when I talk about something, when I interact, Instant feedback on success. Being a live TV channel, the customers responding, they like a product, they don't like a product, they want to see how to do something, they're interested in understanding uh, what it's going to do for them. And you can do those, those are real-time insights. Then you get the post review of, well, did they keep the product? Did they buy another product? Did, and, and given that we have every single customer's purchasing pattern, every order and every uh, second purchase and third purchase, we can really start to understand what connects different brands together, what categories they shop and transfer to. And then you need to read their feedback, whether it's reviewing a product or whether it's going on Facebook or, or talking to our presenters after a show or wanting to speak to a celebrity uh, through Facebook and follow on. And really our marketing team are taking that consumer intelligence and consumer insight and understanding what that means and how the customer journeys through their life with QVC over the years. This is the thing that I think as retailers we need to do though, is start connecting our traditional and our multi-channel. 
our multi-retail, our social media. Now what we're showing here is in the moment someone can ask a question on Twitter, make a comment, and we can show it, not even talk about it, while we continue to talk about the product. So we're looping it round. We're bringing it back from the traditional to the digital, the new world, and back to the traditional, so everyone gets the information and experience. That's that omni-channel. Really bringing it all together in a, a seamless way. I'd say for those people who have uh, online and offline, or stores and websites, and they're trying to uh, bring them together, is stop treating the website like it's uh, the younger person's e-commerce group to go off and do something, or mobile's even more like that, a and focus on how uh, you bring those together and align that new media into your current traditional as effectively as you can and, and really embrace it as opposed to seeing it as an add-on because soon enough it will flip round and it will be a, a leading edge instead of a, a following edge. Plus I, I'd say as well think about the customer. They want to use these things. You just have to show them how and they'll engage and the more they do across more platforms the more they'll engage with the brand and uh, turn up again and increase spend. I just looked at uh, presenting and talking about media meshing and uh, media stacking, and that's about where content is integrated. Whether you're in a store and your app is synced to the store because you're physically there, and that's the same for us as it's on TV and it's on the app in Synergy, or whether you're walking down the street and you're shopping or you're sitting watching some other TV program and integrating. That, for me, is where the world is going to be going next. And with smart TVs and people's ability to bring content into their home, you know, uh, soon enough you'll stand in front of your TV and talk to your grandparents halfway around the world, which people have just started doing on mobile phones and been doing with Skype. It's going to bring it into the norm as opposed to the, the geek's world, which I count myself as. And so that Omni is going to develop into uh, an in-home synergy. I don't have to get up and leave the home to do all of these tasks. Or if I'm out of the home, I can still do everything I, w I would if I was there.